Hi everybody, welcome back to another Steam Deck video and in this one we're going to have a quick look at a particular favourite of mine and that is Resident Evil 4 Remake and we're kind of going to be asking ourselves, you know, is this a good game to play anyway um, and is it a good game to play on the Steam Deck? So what is the performance like? Although I won't go into too much details, you'll have got the frame counter on the top left hand corner giving you the FPS and you'll notice that for the time being anyway, I've just got it locked to 40. And Resident Evil 4 Remake, this is one of the reasons why people buy Steam Decks. Because without a doubt, this is a triple A game from... Uh, it came out last year, didn't it? 2023. Um, now, we're not playing at max settings. We're down at sort of mid settings. But it's definitely a, a, a triple A. And so... If you want to play AAA Steam games on your Steam Deck, this is a good example of kind of what you can expect when the woo we almost walked into that, didn't we? You know, when the dev creates a game that can have lots of um, customization when it term in terms of the graphics, and I I think probably puts in a fair bit of thought. Um, into that customization as well now as far as is it a good game to play um yeah absolutely resident evil 4 is ri is woo is an awful lot of fun oh i'm about to die here yeah, we got through that one didn't we um it was a really important game when it originally came out um sort of over 10 years ago because it took resident evil from that fixed camera perspective to the over the shoulder perspective um and you know for now that really kind of is kind of is the standard but what's very nice about resident evil 4 remake is the camera is quite tight on your character so it's lovely and atmospheric and claustrophobic as well as you're moving around because you can't see everything not as much as you'd expect in something like a um a first person mode and it would be nice to have a first person mode actually um but it's still enough to to make you have to really kind of watch your back and think about what's around the next corner and uh, you know how are you going to deal with the uh, enemies in these tight spaces oh and then i managed to get my leg stuck in a trap um so it's really nice to play you could argue that it's slightly long um uh, in this game basically what you've got to do is recover the president's daughter um, and of course there's going to be um a kind of bio weapons that you're, you're kind of going up against um starts off in kind of a village area and then goes into like a castle and then we have uh, an industrial area all sorts of different things like that but it is the attention to detail is absolutely amazing and the environment is absolutely amazing and as you can see it looks pretty damn good on the steam deck even if my uh Aiming isn't that good, because I probably need to do a little bit of practicing. So as far as Resident Evil 4 Remake goes, yeah, definitely buy it. Even if you're not a big fan of Resident Evil, maybe this will be the title that kind of gets you into the franchise. So let's have a look at the settings. And what we'll do first is we'll just turn off the uh, frame limit. So we'll let it fly. And you can see, so it's gone up to sort of 46 Go up to sort of 50 frames a second occasionally, but in difficult areas it will definitely drop. And that 40 frames a second can be a really nice sweet spot for quite a lot of games, especially when they have a half decent motion blur. And I know lots of people sort of poo poo the idea of motion blur, but I think a good motion blur means that you can play games at 30 frames a second and not really notice. And also, I would say, is particularly for, for this game and any games that have very immersive atmospheres. Don't worry too much about low frame rates because as you play the game, you'll get more and more immersed into it, and uh, you you know you won't notice these kind of drops and things like that. Okay, so let's have a look at the settings that I've got in, and what you should see is we're basically down at medium. There we go, and also if we go up to we've got uh, FSR two set at quality, so we could if we wanted to increase the frame rate, we could 
whack this up to ultra performance and you know we've had a had a bit of a jump there in frame rate but the graphics in my opinion have gone a little bit fuzzy um, which I think um, is a bit bit of a shame because one of the beauties of Resident Evil 4 remake and you know these Capcom titles is woo, there we go I've stepped in another bear trap is the sheer beauty of the game um, and the detail in the environment so let's go back let's change that to quality there so at quality what happens is the game is being rendering, rendered at slightly lower than 1280 by 800 probably 720p um, and then the FSR algorithm is upscaling it so that the graphics sort of component of the Steam Deck doesn't have to work quite as hard so it can kick out more frames per second and yet the graphics can look just as uh, good as if you were rendering at uh, native uh, resolutions so somebody's throwing bombs at me I need to I'd need to find them. He's probably up there, is he or she? But anyway, I'm not here to actually sort of play the game like that. I'm here to tell you about the game. So in my opinion, if you fancy a bit of Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4 Remake is definitely somewhere to, to start. Uh, it plays very, very good. It's a great game. Um, and also I'd say, you know, it runs very nicely on the Steam Deck 2. Anyway, what do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. And of course, I'll see you again soon.